Dogs. A man's best friend. A playful protector. But also some of the best pathologists in the world. My name's Jex Davis and I'm investigating how medical detection dogs are revolutionising diagnostics and medical assistance in the UK. Medical Detection Dogs is a charity that trains dogs to detect the odour of human diseases. There are two main types of dogs who are trained at the centre in Milton Keynes, medical alert assistance dogs and biodetection dogs. I've asked Amelia, who's a volunteer and fundraiser for MDD, to shed some light on the differences. Yeah, so the medical alert assistance dogs are the dogs that are partnered with individuals with complex medical conditions um, that have no awareness of a impending medical episode. Some of the conditions that medical assistance alert dogs are trained to help manage are postural tachycardia syndrome, more commonly known as POTS, Addison's disease and even severe allergies. They can sense a change in odour and alert their owner to find somewhere safe or take medication. The biodetection dogs is kind of where the charity first started. They first started with dogs detecting cancer. So our biodetection dogs are dogs who detect for diseases, for the most part, no human contact. The idea behind this is to create faster and more efficient and less invasive diagnostic techniques. Some of the diseases that bio dogs are trained to detect are cancers including colorectal and prostate, Parkinson's disease, bacterial infections and more recently COVID-19. Because, um... One couple who saw the pandemic as an opportunity to help innovate diagnostic techniques are Moira and Roger. After testing positive, they went to the centre and donated their odour to the COVID detection project. There was... I think there were four who didn't have COVID who were in the room mm. and one of us mm. who did have COVID and they got us to stand in different places mm. and brought in a dog with the handler and the dog was basically allowed to go and encouraged to a degree to go up to each person mm. and certainly the first one who came in immediately just sat down by me and it was a clear mm. message, wasn't interested in any of the other people at all. The trial showed that the highest performing dogs could detect the presence of COVID with 94.3% accuracy. In comparison, the accuracy of a lateral flow test is less than 80%. The charity has a strict no kennel policy, meaning that the puppies and working dogs all live in the loving homes of staff or local volunteers. Today, I'm going to visit Sonia and Imperial. Imperial, or Impy, is a medical detection dog. He's a black Labrador and he's fostered by Sonia. Impy is eight months old. He got his name from being sponsored by Imperial College London. All of the dogs must be socialised before they can begin training. Impy will be with Sonia until he's ready to become a fully fledged medical detection dog. Our job is literally just to introduce them to the world. Right, oh, okay. So when they go off for um, proper training, they've been introduced to cars, buses, yeah. cats, children, um, just general politeness. Oh, good boy. Just general politeness, knowing how to sit, mm. how to be calm. We've introduced them to shops. So, will GPs become extinct? Are our four legged friends the key to our health? We don't know the extent of their capabilities, but these are dogs saving lives.